at how much technology is involved in your life. Technologies, how many technologies? Yeah, how much it's involved in your life, like, you know, how much you use it, how much time spent on, I don't know, using different gadgets or, so for example, if you use technology, so it's like different means of technology or no. Different means of technology. Uh, actually, technology plays an impact a very important role in my life and uh, also my family. No, I mean, uh, like a, a lot of people. Yeah, of course. We, yeah, it's, uh, it helps, it helps. They, they have it a lot and um, like they are very convenient too. Yeah, of course. So you think technology could improve the quality of our lives? Yes. There okay. are something that technology can do, but we can't do. Of course, I do agree with you. Well, uh, first of all, let's watch a really short video related to technology. Then we'll talk about it and I will ask you a few questions related to the video. Just one moment. Let me share it. G okay. is involved in your life. OK. Have you ever thought how much technology is involved in your life? addiction is real. It can damage careers, degrade life, and even harm relationships. This needs to be stopped. Don't let technology take over you. Hashtag, screen off, spread the word, tell the world. Well, what do you think? It's too much, you think? Much? Like? Yeah, of course. Like, you know, when you open your eyes, just beginning of the day let's start off the day and maybe early morning late night so uh we use so different gadgets like spend time and social media using technology so everything is related so sometimes we feel like that we are involved too much so what do you think about this so it's like i don't know maybe uh technology has involved too much in your life or we I think, you know, sometimes I feel like that we have evolved in technology. So what do you think? Isn't it too much? Too much? Yeah. Uh, like too much, like, um, truly, uh, yeah, they have too much uh, things. We can do a lot of things in uh, about technologies. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it might it might help us like um, 
improve quality uh, life quality but um if we uh, don't know how to use it we will get like a bit to it and uh, like yeah we can't get out of it and uh, we we will be like controlled by technology yeah of course of course so you're right we will be controlled maybe like it's kind of addiction that is really difficult to get rid of so yeah. and so actually it's our life so we need and you know sometimes we feel like that we don't have that relationship that we used to have in the past with family members with relatives so we spent more time but now yes. of course we can't just you know everyone you know tends to spend time on the maybe something like virtual world than being real world but Maybe too much is something over, as I told you before, the problem with the word over. OK, let's see. Tell me which gadget do you use more? Actually, I want to use uh, maybe which one you can see different gadgets. So here and uh, which one do you use the most? Um, I mean, every day. Every day. Yeah, your phone, your laptop uh the most i think i <laughs> oh it's hard to tell yeah you know like the phone and the laptop are the most yeah of course especially so phone normally goes at a first step like you know the first and the top of the list normally phones and uh, so you know the meaning of gadget gadget is device so th this can be an electronic device or mechanical device so small device so that is really practical and you normally use it in your daily life so another meaning of it so if i want to give you a synonym so of course you don't need that because you understand the meaning of this that is a device my cousin is such a huge fan of Apple that she will buy every latest gadget right when it comes out. So how about you? So tell me, Apple, Samsung, which one? Apple. Or Samsung? Samsung. Samsung. Yeah, yeah, yeah which one? Uh, I'm using Apple. Yeah. But uh, I think I will uh, buy yeah. Samsung in the future. Yeah, of course. I think yeah. yeah. Well, you know, sometimes I see the latest, especially uh, the latest gadgets like and the latest phones. Wow, they're really great. Also, camera. I don't know. After Steve Jobs, I think we have some, like you know. Why I don't know why, but I don't know. Jay, every year they are launching a new product, a new phone. But it's like too much. I think it's not. I don't know. It's not really good. So in the past, I have not was really unique. Like you know, I remember that. For example, especially I remember that uh, five. It was really good. I found five that was really good, and you know, maybe the best one that time. At that time, of course, I mean, and after that every year we have a new one like you know okay and there is no difference like you, know, you can't find any big change okay so this is 13 pro max and after that we have 14 then 16 they all this you know all of them the same like you know just similar don't you think that we can't find any big change or either a revolution in apple products nowadays apple products yeah Yes, like, yeah, I know they uh, like create a lot. Yeah, I do. Yeah, it. it's like, yeah. Like headphone, laptop, a lot. I don't know. I mean, a yeah, lot. But Samsung, yeah. Samsung, also Samsung, they have, um, they have their many like successful gadgets. Yeah. Of course, gadgets, of course. I definitely agree with you. But I think, know, uh, yeah, yeah, like Samsung and Apple are the best, uh, like, of course, 
the two best dạ um, friend yeah i do agree with you so they're yeah, yeah the best but the, actually i have no idea about uh different names brands so because i don't know a lot but you know so but what i know is about art phone that you know, normally we use it and yeah it's good and um, some sign as well that is really perfect well we have the next word that is technophobe phobe actually it comes from phobia so some people may be uh, are afraid or they dislike advanced technology so they're afraid of or they dislike advanced technology or complex devices so they are technophobe that some people are into like early adopter some people know so it's like you know they don't like or maybe it's like fear so we say technophobe or technophobia and someone who is like technophobe my father is quite of a technophobe so that is someone who is afraid of advanced technology or dislike maybe complex devices. Do you know anyone? Do you know any technophobe person? And what's the yeah, uh, what most, reason? Uh, most likely. <laughs> Wait, um, a new device. Wait, I think, uh, our my uh, my grandfather, of course. Yeah, I don't know, don't like. like yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not sure about the people who uh, who is a techno folk. Yeah. So right. I so I can say on my uh, my grandfather. Yeah. They Older. are old. And, uh, yeah, because they are old and they are they they don't they don't use uh, like a uh, device any device. Yeah. That much. Of course. Yeah, of course. So they, they don't want to, and they don't want to learn like, you know, it's yeah, they don't tend to learn and it's because they normally elderly, older generation find it difficult. So it's something new and they don't need. I remember that you said your grandfather. I remember right, my grandpa used to say that, you know, no, my life is now complete and it's the best. So I need to make any changes so I don't need to. And I remember that he didn't used to you know, like, you know, nothing. So just, you know, if I if he wanted to, I don't know, use phone, like, he, yeah, he used, but not a lot. Not smart phones, or for example, like, you know, just when he needed. And sometimes I agree, like, I think that, yeah, he was right. Maybe we are using too much, that is overuse, maybe. And early adopter. Now, on the other hand, we have some people who actually they definitely like you know uh try to find and use new technology they try to i don't know have and use new product before most others so you see that some people wait in lines to buy i don't know the latest products of apple so it's like they are early adapters so they buy or they use a device or I don't know, mean of means of technology, maybe before most others. So they're called early adopter. And uh, are you an early adopter? Early adopter. Yeah. 
So early adopters. So uh, I think so. <laughs> really? Uh, um, early adopters. We don't know. Oh, not really. That's not like in really. a game. Yeah, not really. Yeah, but not really. We can wait, actually. We don't need to just, you know, yeah. buy the latest version of everything. It can yeah, be so like, Yeah, we don't need we don't really need to. Yeah, of course. So for example, I'm okay with my phone. So why I need to change it to another one? Maybe later. So why? Now it's okay. Well, so this is early adopter. So some people, but especially we see among uh, youngsters or teenagers, you know, they tend to buy the latest products and, you know, they, they want to have the latest, I don't know, version uh, of uh, Samsung or, for example, the Apple, so everything. But I don't know. I'm not a big fan of maybe so I'm a bit old school and we have obsolete traditional TVs are obsolete now no longer in use maybe old-fashioned no longer useful so no longer in use or useful I like I like to have them at home, it's like they're so, I don't know, antique, like old fashioned, but they're really cool. I like, do you have any item, any traditional, I don't know, item at no. home? No. no. Yeah, I think my grandfather has it. Oh, in I our, uh, yeah, in, uh, in the hometown, no, ah. like, in his home. Ah, that's really good. It is actually, I don't know. It's like these items, maybe not a lot, of course, you know, I, I don't mean a lot, just, you know, I don't know. It's like they make a place really cozy, warm, and I like them. So I really like, them. I'm a big fan of. But when we say obsolete means they're no longer used or they're not useful so it can be any kind so that is or that can be considered of old-fashioned is obsolete so and what is this this car okay win fast win fast what what is this could you briefly talk about it so this is a brand of car It's a brand car. WinFast stands for Vietnam Style Safety Innovation Pioneer and aspires to be the brand for user-friendly cars. So what do you think about yeah. this brand? Do you agree? Yes, I agree. Yeah, I, I do. Just I am. No, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah. I agree. Yeah, of course. So it's easy to learn when we say um, user friendly, easy to learn, easy to use. So, uh, so it's like people. So let me ask about the brand of uh, cars that people normal in your country people normally uh, use and tend to buy. So your own product, like, you know, this one, that is WinFast, that is a Vietnamese brand, or no, some other brands from different countries. No, Which it's a Vietnamese. It's WinFast is our brand. Very good, and it's a good one. Yeah, and uh, actually the, the person who create that brand is the richest. Ah. Um, it's the richest uh, person in our country. Ah, so they should be a brand of car. Yeah. Tell me about your favorite brand. Your favorite brand of car. Favorite brand? Yeah. Uh, I think uh, uh, BMW. BMW? Yeah. Yeah. BMW. Yeah. Yeah, I like it because uh, 
it has some uh, the coins looks very um i don't know it's look like it's not uh there has uh, some colors look like not not very normal yeah and, and uh, actually they did it for like racing and sport of course yeah and uh, i also i also like uh, audi ah uh, uh, of course yeah, yeah I, it's good that are two two brand i like yeah how about mercedes no not really <laughs> it's old yeah it's a bit old i know <laughs> yeah it's good for like actually i i like the luxurious luxurious like, of mercedes okay. it's a uh, look very beautiful yeah. but i uh i prefer like racing style more of course it's not really sport car like you know just classic one yeah i know what you mean so it's luxurious but it's not really it's like you know maybe it's good for some old people like classical style and classic styles and i don't know like i, I do agree with you but it's beautiful that this brand is really and i actually i'm a big fan of italian blend brands so i think they're really and, good yeah uh, yeah. yeah yeah they also yeah, yeah. they has a lot of good brand of course so i think they're really good in car uh, good at car industry so they make some either some specials but totally yeah bmw i remember that i had a friend I, and actually i have like you know uh german and once i said bmw and she told me that what bmw that is bm where and i was like okay we don't <laughs> because you know you know that germans say bmw bmw what like we say bmw but they say no because of course their own brand so they decide what to say and we just learn <laughs> yeah okay bells and whistle and what is that especially sometimes you buy something and i don't know you see like some additional features like accessories but not really essential so okay beautiful but it's not really useful but very attractive they are especially some cars they have all the latest bulls and whistles like you know like additions so we can say additional features or accessories which are non-essential very attractive i don't know for example golden things or something like lights extra things so you see but you say okay it's not really essential so it's okay and you know that especially now people tend to buy so you say wow it's really beautiful car most of people tend to buy this type of cars especially there's lots of uh, bells and whistles i um it was like a Chinese product. I think we can see these bells and whistles in Chinese product. They make something really beautiful, like attractive, not really functional. Do you agree? Oh, uh, yeah. And yeah. bell and yes. whistle. Yeah, it's like, you know, it's really beautiful and you see, wow, it's really perfect, nice color. But when you use it, it's like, no, it's not actually that much good that you expect. You think, wow, well, some extra items. So, uh, how about you? Of course, I think not you because you are a big fan of BMW. So it's like not about, yeah, they're really good brand. So maybe what do you think about these, I don't know, bells and whistles, some extra features, especially in cars? But not really useful, just extra. What do you think? Extra. Uh, I think that's um. They just make something like uh very uh 
has some interesting uh, course thing uh, on the phone, but uh, not actually good. Yeah, of course. Not really. They are not really functional, not only on phones, cars, phones, everything. When it comes to technology, every day we see something. Wow, it's really attractive. It's really beautiful. Sometimes it's really good, sometimes not really essential. So. Well, and now so gadget, technophobe, early adopter, obsolete and user friendly may ask you to make some questions. Some, I'm sorry, some sentences using these words and phrases. Gadget. Hmm, gadget. The gadget, my father. I thought about yesterday was for testing air pressure. Yeah. yeah. And uh, take no for Yeah. Take no for Take no for He's also a bit of a technophobe. Very good. And has been have problems uh, early adopter. Oh, my uncle is an early adopter because he bought, he buys uh, every, every new device uh, that are coming out. Yeah, very good. That actually we can say that is launched. So, you know, when they introduce a new product, that they launch a new product. So once it launched, launch. yeah, first to introduce a new product to the market. Yeah. Okay. Also, so your uncle good. can be considered as a an early adopter since. He buys the latest version of gadgets once they are launched, as soon as they are launched. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Like old fashioned. Absolute machines are sent for scrap. Yeah. Actually, some people have collection of obsolete items and obsolete cars, especially as they are really expensive. But you know, they tend to have like American cars, like collection of them, very old ones. And yeah. user friendly. Tell me a user friendly gadget or car yes. or everything. User friendly. Uh, friendly? Like smart? Like easy, easy to learn, easy to use. User friendly. Easy to learn, easy to use. Uh, what is easy to learn, easy to use? Oh, wow. Uh, Wait, I'm thinking, what is that? Um, 
I think let's talk about um, Apple, Apple phones like iPhone. Uh, oh. Among all of them, like you know, uh, let's talk about so iPhone five, seven, six. Do, do you remember? So which one do you find the most user friendly phone? I think I think 13 Pro Max. 13 Pro Max. Yeah. 13 Pro Max. Uh, yeah. I don't know what I'm thinking. Yeah, of course. Samsung is no, it's more. Ah, it's really user friendly. I can say that, and it's really nowadays. It's really beautiful. I Samsung see. Is, yeah, Samsung is uh, more of a user friendly than Apple. I think so. I think so. Yeah. I yeah, do. that's my sense. Okay, that's my sense then. Of course, especially because of some I don't know some policies that they have when pre I don't know like for example when. Uh, they launch a new product, so it, but now it's better. So I remember that in the past it was really difficult to use some, not of course the every product, but in some of gadgets, some of Apple gadgets, like th that was really difficult. Well, and let's talk about the structure. Here we have made of, made from, but let me, okay. We have made of, made out of, made with, made from. So what's the difference? So first of all, I say made from. So why we use it? So made from. What is this? We often use made from when we talk about how something is manufactured. For example, what is that? Plastic is made from oil, for example. Yeah. Or paper, like for example, is made from, for example, tree trunks. I don't know, like this. So we use made from to say how something is manufactured. So how something is manufactured. For example, plastic is made from oil. Really? Plastic is made from oil? I'm not sure. Just I think. <laughs> yeah, really? When we say made of, the next one, we use made of when we talk about the basic material or qualities of something. For example, my table is made of wood. It's wooden. So we can say made of basic material. Like my necklace is made of, I don't know, silver. Basic material of my necklace is silver, so I say made of. And we have made out of. We okay. usually use made out of when we talk about something that has been changed or transformed into another thing. What is that? For example, I have some plastic sheets or I don't know, some recycled products, okay? And this tent, for example, we are living in tents made out of old plastic sheets. So something changed, transferred into another thing. So we say made out of. Well, the next one, made out of. 
when something has been changed or transferred into another thing. Like, for example, we are living in tents made out of plastic sheets. For example, you know that uh, we have some uh, like material, like fabrics, and they made out of plastic bottles. So they recycle these plastic bottles and then they create something like, for example, a jumper. They make a jumper. So this is made out of. And the last one, made with, that is really easy. Normally we use it to talk about ingredients of food. For example, this soup is made with beef and red peppers. So we use made with. And what is that? That is really easy. Food ingredients, normally. For example, this dish is, you know, is made with beef and herbs, for example. So something, ingredients that we have. So we have made from, made of, made out of, and made with. Just as you can see in your book, you only have made of and made from. And it's used to talk about material, as I told you. And made from is used to talk about materials that on the go would change from original. So like this. Okay. So made from and made of. Now we have more, so four structures here. That is, the, the, all of them are really easy. The last one, made with, normally food ingredients, made out of something totally changed to produce, to make another thing, and made of basic material of something. And made from something that is manufactured, for example, like plastic is made from oil. Okay, now please make four sentences using made from, made of, made out of, made with. Made from, made of, made out of. Yes. Um, uh, that paint is made of leather. Yeah. And uh, made that, from. That can is made of what? Not, that paint ah. is made of leather. Yeah. And uh, Window, window is made from la uh, sand. Yeah. Yeah, of course, very good. Uh, make out of, make out of. But you know, when you say window, because you see sand and it's the basic material, so I think it's better made of, made of sand because that is basic material, so made. Or you can say, so you use letter and you can say it's okay. Made from letter, made of sand. Because the second example was about, you know, uh, about the basic material of something, of glass. And made out of? 
expect out of um, out of the rings the rings are made out of two oh no diamonds yeah of course and um wait what ring made out of diamond but you still let me say something uh when you say made out of something has been changed so you can't see the base actually the base and the basic the first material but diamond when ring is actually made you say made of or made from or made out of let me say something that is really important look when you say made of it means the first material still is like, you know, uh, we can say still is clear, like you can't recognize it. Like, you know, the basic material, so you can understand that, well, for example, this is the basic material, so we say made of. For example, when you see my necklace, you can see that the silver. So I say made of, you, you see it. But when I say made from, definitely change. For example, say made from plastic, made from oil. You can't see anything about oil. From oil. Just to say, you see the result. So this is made from. And when you say made out of, again, something is changed. For example, this candle holder made out of wine bottles. Something wine bottle. transformed change into. So you can say, yes, for example, this ring, okay, you can say, for example, made of diamond or made out of something that changed into the new one. For example, I had some plastic bottles. And then we made something like, I don't know, a box. This box is made out of that, those plastic bottles. Okay. Okay. Well. This is. I'm not. made wet made wet yeah mm -hmm. Let me see. For example, a food, any food. Oh. That uh, this dish is made with. This dish is made with. It's made, um, in, yeah, with. Beef. Yeah, very good. Beef. It's perfect. So, ingredient is beef. So, uh, be made of, be made from. So as I told you, as you can see, uh, remain on the change that is still recognizable. So it's clear you can recognize it. So it's recognizable. So you can see the basic material. But when you say made from, no, you can't see the base one. So it's like a new one. Well, yeah. do you have any questions related to the structures? No. Okay. Sure, sure. Well, uh, no. Yeah, just okay. Very good. Yeah, well, not, not yet. Yeah. Well, now we have a widow. Just let me 
she I think I have the widow here if I can find it I think this one let me check No, it's fame. It's not technology. This one. No, fame. I have a lot of videos about fame. Ah. Let's listen and complete the passage. I love technology. I enjoy reading about new gadgets and I spend a lot of money on technology. I couldn't live without my mobile phone because I plan my life with it or without my mp3 player because I love listening to music. How about you? How do you feel about technology? I love technology. For what I do, I'm probably quite a technophobe um, because I'm a designer, so I have to use a computer every day. And I only learned how to use a computer when I was 19. Oh, I love technology. I love computers and I love Twitter and I love mobile phones. I love, it. I love technology. I've got lots of gadgets. Uh, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't, wouldn't know what to do without my laptop. I hate technology. I, I find it frightening and disturbing. I use technology because I have to. I am definitely not a technophobe. Uh, I have learned to love technology very much so in my job. I love technology <laughs> a lot. Um, you know, everything about it, like new gadgets, you know, computers, things like that. I have a mobile phone and I do have an iPod, but um, I'm probably the only person I know who doesn't own my own computer. Oh no, I sort of have every latest gadget as it comes out. What items of technology do you have with you at the moment? Um, I've got my mobile phone in my pocket um, and my laptop's just in my filing cabinet in the office over there. I have my mobile phone with me and my mobile phone is connected to Twitter. I have an iPod, but it's not charged, so that's why I'm not using it. Um, I mean, at the moment, I just have my mobile, that's all. At the moment, I have uh, my mobile phone on me, um, MP3 player. My laptop. Just my mobile, but I have two. An e-book reader, um, and a laptop, and an iPod, and uh, so lots and lots of gadgets. Are there any items of technology you couldn't live without? I couldn't live without my computer. Um, why not? Because I'm... Well, first of all, let's... Fill in the blanks using the words so which one. I love technology and you're reading about new gadgets and spend a lot of oh I a lot a lot what? Spend a lot of uh, a lot of money. Very good. I couldn't without my mobile phone. I couldn't uh, plan. I couldn't live. Yeah, of course. Live is better. So the second one. And because I, my lot with, I, which one? Because I, um, I, I, uh, I plan my life with. Very good. I plan my life with. Technology. Very good technology or with my P3 player. I love listening. To new music. To music and yeah. How, how do you feel about it? it? How do you feel about it? Perfect. Now let's okay. Okay, now here we have A, B, C, D, E, F, some speakers, and then let's match. I'm definitely not a technophobe, just one moment. 
if we have time. Peter, when I was 19. Oh, music. How about you? How do you feel about technology? I love technology. For what I do, I'm probably quite a technophobe um, because I'm a designer, so I have to use a computer every day. And I only learned how to use a computer when I was 19. Oh, I love technology. I love computers and I love Twitter and I love mobile phones. I love it. I love technology. I've got lots of gadgets. Uh, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know what to do without my laptop. I hate technology. I, I find it frightening and disturbing. I use technology because I have to. I am definitely not a technophobe. Uh, I have learned to love technology very much so in my job. I love technology <laughs> a lot. Um, you know, everything about it, like new gadgets, you know, computers, things like that. I have a mobile phone and I do have an iPod, but um, I'm probably the only person I know who doesn't own my own computer. Oh no, I sort of have every latest gadget as it comes out. Well, so, number two, for what I do, I'm probably quite a technophobe. Number two, which one's that? Do you remember? So, maybe this spoke a bit fast. So it's okay, no worries. I don't really know, no, I learned it's not really much. It's, not my it's job. really is not that, my, yeah. Is that a e, uh, e? E, no, E, no. Is nah. it a lot of technology, of course. But the first one, I'm probably quite a technophobe. Maybe this one. This this girl said, but let's do something because you know I won't do. Yeah. Uh, actually, I want you to listen to this part carefully again. So and we have no time to do it. So I skip this part and tomorrow we'll listen one by one and then we can check the correct answer together. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very good. So we skip this part and the part of speaking that we will talk about tomorrow. Okay, Kai. So that's it. Any questions and issues related to the spray? Uh, no. Okay, so have a great day and wonderful week, of course, and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay, goodbye. Hey, bye.